It's really unique. I don't think you get it at many many other clubs. I haven't experienced it at any other club I've been at. You just the fans, the players, the volunteers, everyone is everyone is one and everyone is together and that's quite a unique thing to have at a football club. It's brilliant, we all seem to come together and, and it's all pushed in the same direction, which is great. It's just got that thing about it. You just walk through these gates, you look out on that pitch and it, this just catches you. Just from the moment you walk in, it's the people, it's everyone behind the bar, everyone in the boardroom. They just make you so welcome. I've been coming up for 15 years and I've never felt more part of a family. So look, it's a village, it's a lovely village and there's the, like Bridget down at Coffe, she's got to go up in the day and she's making a bit because I'm delighted about the local bars, which I know every now and again I like to, <laughs> I like to go in them as you know. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's one of them, I do actually adventure into these places and sometimes never come out. And um, it, it's one of them where, you know, it's a lovely place, lovely club, honestly it's a fantastic club and uh, everybody's proud to be a part of it, I'm glad everybody's bought tickets, I'm glad they're all going to be here on numbers because everybody's really proud to be a part of this, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it, obviously it was a, a slow start, um, which I think was a culmination of factors, including the new board coming in, um, some slight changes with the playing staff, as you always have at the beginning of a new season. It took some time for it to settle down, for Dallas to find his his uh, his real side, I suppose. Um, the way that we, we work the market as well, with, with a lot of loan players, etc., um, it takes some time for them to bed in. Um, so it was a slow start, but I think since then, obviously, you went on a fantastic run, unbeaten run, which was unprecedented as far as I'm aware within the club, um, something which most of the players out there will not experience again in their playing career, so that's fantastic. And obviously we've, we find ourselves here um, in the playoff final, which for me, I know we've been here before, um, but to actually get here um, and, and be in with a real chance, I think is just a fantastic achievement considering the relatively limited resources that we have here compared to some of the other clubs in the league. I think that once we found our feet, we really kicked on and we, we got the right people in. I think the um, the massive thing we have at this club is that everyone works hard and that's the minimum requirement. And if you don't do that as a player, you get found out. And that often results in a high turnover of players at the start of the season. But then we got the right group together, all pushing in the same direction. I think we kicked on as a result of that.
really didn't know the inner workings of the club in, in any way, shape or form. And, um, it, you know, it's been, it's been a pleasure, really, to, to see how much effort is put in by the volunteers, um, by the staff, the very few paid staff we have. Um, a day like today, you know, typifies the work that they do. It's been manic. And really, for me, that's, that's the biggest education I've had is seeing how a club like this runs, and it's, it's really impressive. Um, you know, and I'd, I'd like to personally thank all of the volunteers and everyone involved in the club, the Supporters Trust and everything else, because without them, you know, this place wouldn't exist. And um, as I say, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to be part of.